Well, hello, Shoreline family. Uh, this is your devotional for March 3rd, and we are in Proverbs chapter 9. And I'm going to read a few verses and just reflect with you on a few thoughts, and then give you a couple of special invitations coming up, uh, both tonight and this coming Sunday. We have a lot coming ahead this week for you that's going to really bless you. But just to take a moment and just quiet your heart and listen to what God says to you, the wisdom of God from Proverbs chapter 9, beginning in verse 7. Whoever corrects a mocker invites insults. Whoever, whoever rebukes a wicked incurs abuse. Do not rebuke mockers or they will hate you. Rebuke the wise and they will love you. Instruct the wise and they will be wiser still. Teach the righteous and they will add to their learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For through wisdom your days will be many and years will be added to your life. I have a question for you today. Are you wise or are you a mocker? Are you a wise person? Are you a person who tends to mock other people? Well, there's a way you can know. If you say, well, I'm, I, I'm not sure how I would determine that. Well, what Proverbs says is, well, one way you can find out if you're wise or a mocker is how do you respond to critique? How do you respond to correction? When your spouse points out something, an area that you could grow, or where a friend says, you know, this is something I was kind of concerned how you handled this, and I kind of thought you didn't made it, might, might have been able to handle this a little bit better. And somebody comes to you with grace and kindness, but they point out a flaw or a concern or an area you could grow. How do you respond? Who are you to tell me what I do? Get, what about you? Do you get angry, defensive? Do you push back and not listen? Proverbs would say, you're a mocker. When you listen, and when you wisely take the counsel of someone else. They may not be 100% right, but if someone loves you enough to point out something in your life, they're probably 50% right, and they might be 95% right. Wisdom says, I'm gonna to listen to what other people say. I'm gonna learn from them, and I'm gonna become even wiser. Are you a mocker or a wise person? Here's what you do this week. You notice when somebody points out something in your life where you could grow, how do you respond? And if you wanna become a wise person, respond with humility, with a listening spirit, and do all you can to learn from others. If somebody shares something and it's not accurate and not right, that's okay, but be gracious in how you listen. But here's what I found in my life. When somebody who loves me takes the time to share a concern, there's almost always something to it. They may not be 100% right, but they're rarely 100% wrong. And I find they're usually about 75 or 80% right, and I've got some things to grow in. Would you let God speak to you and grow your heart and make you more like Jesus? Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you for your word that is true for the wisdom of Scripture. We pray that when people in our life would love us enough to point out a concern, to help us grow in some area of our life, to correct us where we've been out of line, we pray that we would respond like a wise person and become even wiser because we listen humbly and receive what's said and search our hearts, and listen to your Holy Spirit, and learn and grow to be more who you want us to be. We pray this in Jesus' name. Make us more like you. Let us walk in wisdom. We pray for your glory. Amen. Well, Shoreline Church, tonight is night of worship. I want to invite you to join us online or on campus. It's going to be a great time of celebration. We're going to break the bread and share communion together. We're going to open God's word and talk about how God's name is the great I am. I'm so excited about the message tonight. You want to join us for that. And then this coming Sunday, we have a guest preacher, Jeff Mannion, who comes every year to be with us here at Shoreline. He wrote the book, The Land Between. He wrote the book, Satisfied, a great author, pastors a large dynamic church in West Michigan. Jeff will be here bringing the word on Sunday. I'll be assisting him in worship and, and be at church. But we'll see you tonight at night of worship. We'll see you this Sunday at worship. Be sure to register if you're coming on campus. God bless you. Have a great week and keep walking in wisdom.